Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to graph a firm's profit function. Profit is total revenue minus total cost, or in symbols, revenue is simply price times quantity, and total cost is the sum of the firm's fixed and variable costs of production. We have a firm that sells its product at a price of $25. This firm is a price taker, so we're talking about a perfectly competitive firm. The firm has fixed costs of $100 and variable costs of Q squared, where Q is the quantity of output produced. F the firm's total revenue, revenue is price times quantity, where the price is $25, so 25 times Q. And the firm's total cost, where total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. Fixed cost is $100, and the firm's variable costs are Q squared. Forming the firm's profit function of revenue minus cost, we have the following. And let's distribute that minus sign. So let's get some coordinates to help graph the profit function. First one is to set Q equal to zero. So evaluating the profit function when Q is zero, the firm's profit is minus $100 or minus the fixed cost. Now let's find the maximum profit to get another key coordinate. So we're going to maximize profit here by taking the derivative of this profit function with respect to Q. The derivative of 25Q is 25. The derivative of minus 100, that's a constant, so it is 0. And then this last term here, the derivative of minus Q squared, is just simply minus 2Q. We're maximizing, so we set this result equal to 0. And now we're going to solve for Q. Dividing through by 2, 25 divided by 2, the profit maximizing output is 12.5 units. And now we're going to plug this 12.5 units into the profit function. Doing that, the firm's profit is $56.25. So the coordinates so far we found at Q equals 0, the firm's profit is minus 100. At Q equals 12.5, Profit is maximized at 56.25. Let's get some more coordinates. We're now going to find where profit is zero. We're going to find the quantity where profit is zero. So here's our profit function, and we're going to set it equal to zero. And we're going to now use the quadratic formula. So just rearranging this here. Here's our quadratic formula. A is the minus one. B is 25, and C is minus 100, plugging that into the quadratic equation. And now simplifying. 25 squared is 625. Over here we have minus 400. Simplifying some more here under the square root sign. Uh, the square root of 225 is 15. Just rewriting that last step. And the first root here, minus 25 minus 15, gives us a value of 20 for the quantity. And to find the second root, instead of minus 15, it's plus 15. And our second root here is 5. So the coordinates we found so far are as follows. And now we're just going to plot these to help graph the profit function. So over here on the right is the profit function. It is an inverted U. At the top of the hill is where profit is maximized at 12.5 units. Right here, when Q is 0, profit is minus 100. That's this point over here. When Q equals 5, using the quadratic formula, we found that profit is 0. So that's this point here. And then also using the quadratic formula, we found that Q equals 20, profit is also 0. And that's this point right here. So that's how you graph a profit function. I'll stop here.